We find ourselves back on the shores of Blighty. A little trip and a little taste of home for me in this reality check. And a stark reminder as to why I left it in the first place. Let's take a look at someone that goes that little bit too far and gives this guy all he can handle in this reality check. Heath or not? Yeah, yeah, 50 man. quid up your mother's pooch, yeah? I'll give you 50 smashes to I'm your not. mother's gun. How about that? How about that? How about your mother's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You mad or something? Up your mother's pooch, yeah? Up your mother's pooch, yeah? That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. God, God. We got a phone going on filming a confrontation and an argument between two chaps on the gas station forecourt and two chaps in their car. The jewel of words, we shall call this. We could also call this the barking of mutts. One of the issues that you'll often have is people will talk themselves into situations where they've got no business being. Out of a misplaced sense of confidence, because they've had luck in the previous instances, or because they're idiots. Given that these guys are stood on a garage forecourt drinking lager, I'm going to go with the idiot side of the fence. This is not really what I would call a great social hangout. What did you do last night, Jim? I hung around outside the gas pumps drinking beer. Cool. I wish I could be doing that. Doesn't make any sense. But that's what they decided to do with their lives and who am I to pass judgment on it? The language that's being used is a little salty, but it does remind me of why the UK insults still rank as the highest in the world when it comes to creativity and expression. We have a little turn of phrase that you don't often find anywhere else in the world. The guys in the car are clearly in a position where they can drive off that forecourt and go away. And let's be honest, they genuinely should have done. If you can get away from there, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Because the whole situation as it now unfolds could have been avoided just by judicious application of an accelerator. Adrenaline does funny things to people. And our own thresholds will tend to vary with the comfort level of what we're willing to go in for. Had this been two guys face to face with each other, the initiation probably would have come in significantly earlier. But not only is there space and distance, there's a barrier in the car. And that creates almost a psychological barrier as much as it does a physical one. Because to remove yourself from the car to get to the confrontation point, the door needs to be open, the seat belt needs to come off, and there are several steps that need to take place. One of the downsides of alcohol, of course, is it tends to blunt that adrenaline. It tends to reduce those inhibitions, and it tends to make stupidity and assholes type behavior just get bigger. This is demonstrated beautifully when one guy decides that he's just going to fling a can at the car. Again, what he thinks he's going to achieve by this, I do not know. It's possible he's just going to throw that can, hits the car, the guy runs off because he's terrified of fizzy carbonated beverage spilling over the paintwork. But instead, this is the trigger point. That's enough is enough. His line in the sand has been met. It could be that he wasn't quite there yet, but that that thump against the car and his car was enough to push him over the edge from indecision into fight mode. And he goes right in and boom, we already know he's had a few fights in his time because he lands that punch straight and clean. It's probably only the alcohol fueled stupidity that's actually saved that guy from going down harder than he did. The fight is then on and the guys are laying those fists in. They chase his little mate off on the forecourt who wants to go in and then they come back to have another go in again. It's unfortunate at this point that they realize one of the people that's with them is recording it. And you see him come running up, turn the camera off, give me the phone, give me the phone, because they don't want this recording. So we don't know exactly how this concludes. All we have is how it started. And then we have the catalyst for the violence that goes in there. I shouldn't have to tell you, don't get drunk on a gas station forecourt and throw beer cans at cars. It goes without saying. Equally, I shouldn't have to tell you, if you can get away from a situation, please do, especially if you're in a car. 
There is very little that's going to be achieved here by hanging around and seeing what creative profanity, creative insult is going to come next from this guy's dick licker. It really is not going to do you any favors because what happens as a result of this is now going to be equally risky for you as it is for them. Even the beer hit in the car, is that worth getting in a fight over? A personal choice to be made for sure. I'll tell you this much, I'd be furious and there's a very high probability I may get involved. But is that actually going to solve anything? Because now what you're doing is you're getting into a situation where you're potentially apprehending someone for what they did to your car. It's a citizen's arrest power, basically the same principle as policing. An offence has been committed and you act to take that person into custody. But this isn't what they do here. What we have here is retribution, justice, revenge. You threw a beer can at my car, I'm going to fire five knuckles into your face and see how many of your teeth you come back with. Now, is that understandable? 100%. Is it justifiable? Debatable, but a case can be made for it. Is it necessary? No. Not only could it have been avoided, it could have been driven away from in the first place. Only thing you're gonna lose is a little bit of face. And surely that is better than using your liberty and possibly even your life. He happened to be a better fighter than this guy. It could equally have gone the other way. If you're in a car and you can drive away from someone on their feet, then do so. Everything else, is getting dangerously close towards the same level of stupidity we saw from the guys drinking beer in the first place. Thank you guys for watching and thank you for staying till the end of the video. So many people click off because they've seen the violence porn and they think that's all it's about. As someone that's actually committed to becoming a better person and to maybe taking action and improving themselves, I would like to offer you a very special discount. If you go on the link below to our Reality Check training series page and you enter the code REALITYCHECK20, you'll receive a 20% discount off the training materials that we're offering. This course is unlike anything that's on the market already. I've put over 30 years of martial arts experience, over 20 years of law enforcement experience, and the basis for the reality checks into this course. I'm confident it will make a difference in how you approach life, and certainly in how you approach self-defense situations. So by clicking that link and entering the code REALITYCHECK20, you're gonna get a discount on this course that without word of a lie, will change your life. And if you don't believe us, just ask for the money back and we'll return it with no questions asked. Thank you for being an action taker. Thank you for staying with us and I'll see you next time.